Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm trying to compile possible questions on Process Builder. So let's get started. What is Process Builder? Process Builder is a workflow tool that helps to automate business processes by providing a powerful and user-friendly graphical representation of your processes as you build it. The Process Builder offers simple and powerful design allows us to create processes using a convenient layout with point and click efficiency, create whole process in one place rather than using multiple workflow rules. Automated processes in the process builder are based on records and consist of uh, criteria that determine when to execute action groups. So uh, those actions can be immediate and scheduled actions to execute when those uh, criteria are met. Any change that causes a record to match a criteria can automatically trigger the action group. We can use more powerful and flexible process builder to perform the same action as workflow. The process builder does not support outbound message messages, but you can easily create one, uh, uh, create one yourself with Apex code. With the process builder, we can create a record, update any related record, not just the record or its parent. Right? Use a quick action to create a record, update a record, log a call, launch. We can launch a flow. Uh, you can you cannot schedule this action with workflow. Send an email, post to chatter, submit for approval. Right? So let's go to next question. What should be the condition we need to specify in process builder to specify schedule action? So schedule actions can be uh, created when the condition is uh, when record is created and when record is created or edited while define criteria select the checkbox for below settings. Do you want to execute the actions only when specified changes made to the record? Is it possible to edit the process once it is activated? No. You need to clone while cloning you can create new process or create new version. How to troubleshoot the errors if any issue comes in process builder? So we can use the error messages that appear in the process builder and emails that we receive when a process fails to help solve problem that arise when uh, we are working with processes. Uh, when all fails, we can look at the apex debug logs um, for the processes and identify error in the process builder. Uh, the API names for the criteria nodes and the actions are created in the background. Uh, so when we create or update processes, uh, we might see error message that reference those names to help you to identify specifically where the problem occurred. Error received after a process starts evaluating a record. When a user performs an action that triggers a process, that, uh, that process fails, the user sees a page with the error, workflow, action failed to trigger flow. In addition, the administrator who created the process receives an email with more detail. Uh, using debug logs true, we can troubleshoot the uh, problem. So uh, we can use debug logs to find detailed information uh, about uh, our running processes after they finish. Uh, for example, if a process doesn't seem to trigger when a record meets a process criteria or if you want to understand the sequence of processes being executed. What is the difference between workflow and process builder? Uh, in workflow, we can perform only four actions like email alert, create task, update a record and send an outbound message. Through process builder, we can perform more actions. Uh, obviously, email alert, create task, update record and uh, and it's related records as well. Uh, create new record, call flow, call an apex class, submit approval, post to chatter. But we cannot send an outbound message through a process builder. There is no graphical representation in workflow. Process builder is user friendly. As you can see, graphical representation of your process that you build. 
you can add multiple evaluation criteria in workflow process builder allows uh, allows us to add multiple evaluation criteria for an object that you also call uh, criteria node uh, we cannot combine workflow with flow and apex to handle more dml operation whereas through process builder we can combine flow and apex in order to handle more dml operations why process builder is preferred over workflow uh, firstly through process builder we can perform more action over workflow rules like we can create records uh, submit uh, for an approval we can call flow we can call apex class we can update related records etc uh, secondly salesforce doesn't guarantee the order in which workflow rules are executed so there might be some recurrent scenarios arise due to that whereas in process builder we can add multiple nodes for evaluation in that way we can set the order of execution in salesforce there are more possibility with process uh, builder as we can combine process flow and flows uh, and uh, to handle more complex scenarios thank you guys so hope you like the content of this video if you have any questions or any feedback please let me know through your comments thank you